all right everyone so we are here the immortal gear update is inside the game we're gonna jump around test out a couple things um i just want to jump in to it i've already done a battle and it seems pretty tricky uh, not necessarily because the strategy is tricky or anything like that just because with the higher level stages it just increases the amount of stats and all this other nonsense that you're going to need so that is something that we're going to have to pay attention to and really make sure we're not getting destroyed. First off, though, the new character is Fiona. I'm pretty excited about her as well. She's got some really, really nice uh, things going on. Uh, the damage dealt that she's going to be increasing in the Blossom State is 15%, which can, uh, can stack up to three times um, as far as I can see. So that is huge up to 45% increased damage and reduce reduction of 45% damage, which means I think she's going to be pretty critical. If you guys decide to purchase her, be sure to use the link in the description down below with Aptide. You guys can go ahead and download that uh, for 20% potentially off anything that you purchase, which is going to be pretty important um, if this character is super good. And usually these supports are. I'm definitely going to be summoning for her and trying her out, maybe in the new comp. With that said, though, we have a couple things to go ahead and talk about slash showcase. First off, let's dive into we have the elite chapter still. We have the Twilight Lands endless battle going on. But most importantly, we have the new dungeon stages. So this is really what we have to talk about today. This and the tempering portion of gear. So once again, the bosses the damages um <laughs> here we go <laughs> this is what i was looking for uh the restriction of secondary and main attributes of the main legendary equipment dropped in the condition triangle cannot be the same attribute the equipment dropped in other boss fights remains unchanged so not only are you going to get the new pieces of tempering material but you're also going to get like exceptionally great gear so you really basically every single person inside the game should be farming roulette of truth and mirage space if you can on hard that's going to be the new goal now as i said i've done battle already it's kind of broken up into two separate battles you have this like mini arena fight this is very easy i just use my mirage space team you could probably do other things but it recommends seven characters so i went ahead and used seven characters and i had no problem so that one i'm not too worried about this one on the other hand i've been messing around with a little bit it is very tricky the boss just does a ton of damage. And unfortunately, um, my assassins are not hyper evolved, but also my prototypes are not exceptionally leveled up. Like Phantom Cloak here is absolutely disgusting. You absolutely want this if you can get it, if you have it upgraded. Unfortunately, I do not. I might upgrade it today to try to boost up a little bit of my power, but we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna just jump in a battle here and show you kind of what this looks like for the uh, arena battle types event our first battle here this as i said is very easy nothing special to it you can see my characters i can even uh, move myself onto the other side you can see they're they're not close to dying no one's like even doing any damage to them we're gonna just slowly whittle them down the only thing that I was concerned about is time, and well, that's not really a big concern once you start uh, scaling up your damage on like Anpu and stuff, and and then eventually once you start taking out like one or two of them, they all kind of fall down. Uh, particularly when you take out the assassins um, or you start burning through those sword souls, then Dominic's gonna just get annihilated because he doesn't get the damage reduction anymore, and then of course the tanks get slowly annihilated as well because they're getting hit by all the different corpse explosions from Anpu. They do so little damage that we don't even get a lot of corpse explosion damage because they're not doing enough damage to kill the summons. <laughs> that's uh, that's how easy this one is. So pretty straightforward. Absolutely no issues there. As you can see, we're going to be able to knock out all of these guys in the back row. And then we'll move on to the boss battle. So really not worried about this one, as you can see. And I'll just let this play out because it... Uh, just takes a little bit of time now when we get to the secondary fight you generally want assassins to deal with the little spirits off to the side little dance guys <laughs> that's what makes it really tricky okay 
the boss already does a ton of damage and in fact i think someone like mook is going to be really good for this if you don't have someone to fit in that frontal spot and the main reason for that is they do have the, tr the quad hit with the quartet strike and if it hits only one person then um it's gonna annihilate them and so that's ends up being a little bit of an issue and so muka is gonna divide up those targets you just see the damage that these this guy is pumping out and the actual really important thing here is not just the fact that oh well rickard's already dead not just the fact that you take so much damage but more importantly is the amount of damage that you have to dish out right this is a four minute battle we're 40 seconds in and we can only do 10 percent of the boss's hp by a full minute going around that's 25 percent of the time allotted we need to have them at like 75 percent maybe even less because we haven't dealt with the boss's mechanics so the tricky part here actually isn't really the survivability it's the combination of having to deal a lot of damage while also being extremely survivable so that is the tricky portion and you can see here we're gonna have to balance that in some way so you're gonna have to go to the drawing board and start messing around with this comp but um that's kind of what it looks like here now one thing is the new tempering and the way you unlock this or the way you access it i guess is you're gonna run into your characters here scroll down where's a, a bird a burst or surge set okay here we go ravenna has a surge set and what we could do is you click on the different gear pieces and you hit temper okay and now you get the tempering material and you can hit temper and then you have to use you know all the different tempering material you can see there are different tiers this is going to be a grind, my friends. Ooh, I'm sure that the higher level tempered material as well, it's just going to be better than the previous. So we kind of have like an infinite gear grind um, besides like the normal infinite gear grind. So I don't know what it looks like. Obviously, I haven't beaten it, but I'm going to dive into it and see what's up. But uh, that's just the kind of the first impressions. There really isn't much else to consider because, well, the dungeon is hard, so um, I'm going to go back and uh, get to the drawing board to kind of mess around some gear, see if I can beat it. But I just wanted to show you guys what's going on and how to access all the different stuff, as well as kind of my opinion. First off, uh, about the new character, well, my initial impression is that she's going to be excellent. So if you are wondering whether or not you should summon for her, my, again, initial impression is that she's going to be quite good. And I think that she could be useful in that new dungeon uh, for Roulette of Truth, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to mess around the team comp and I'm also going to summon for Fiona and do a little bit of in-depth dime. So if you guys want to stick around for that, potentially tomorrow, then, you know, be sure to do so. Other than that, hopefully you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.